Disclaimer, this video and all its contents are Ngozi's opinion and that of some people who contributed. We're all entitled to our opinions, so enjoy. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome again. My name is Ngozi and welcome back to another episode of the NG Show. Uh, thank you for sticking with me for as long as you have. Um, on this episode, I'm discussing part two of etiquette. Um, because it's, after the first one I did, apparently there are so many to go through. And it's either people don't know or they do know and they just don't want to learn. But I think that these things are important because you don't live alone on an island. So you need basic uh, skills for, or basic know-how. Otherwise, then you're, you're just, yeah, quite frankly, you're upsetting people left, right, and center. Okay, so I'm going to go into it very, very quickly. And oh, before I even go into it, um, I took a short break. I'm back. I wanted to recoup a little bit and handle a few things. It wasn't long enough. Regardless, uh, here I am again. And um, yes, I'm wearing dark lipstick. It's unlike me. But I saw it on someone and I thought, ooh, I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it. And I did. And I quite like the way it looks on me. So anyway, uh, you know how I like top 10 lists. So I'm going to go through it very quickly. Number one, etiquette two. When I offer you something, packet of biscuits, I have 10. Don't take five or six. Take one. If you are close to me, take two. Because you're not the only person in the room. Is it your own? Did I buy it for you? If I offer you, it's a gesture. It's, it's I'm showing you that I'm, I'm, I'm sharing. When I share, know that there are other people I can share with. Don't take it by yourself. It's not your own. So take one. Use your church mind. If it comes back around, then you can take another one. Yeah? Okay, great. Number two. I call this one legitimacy. It's in the same vein as offering you my biscuit. So when you buy your own, especially in an office, this is, this is very office-based. When you buy your own and you sit down, open your biscuits and munch it by yourself, you don't offer anybody. And nobody wants to ask you because ah, we're not sure if you want to offer anybody your very expensive biscuits and you eat it alone. But then when I buy mine and all you hear is the sound of the <laughs> your head will just flip because you, you are alert to the speed of sound. Of, of sound. And then you oh, say, can I have some? I don't want to give you because when you opened yours, you didn't give me. Legitimize yourself. If you open your own and you don't offer anybody, quite frankly, don't expect me to give you when I open my own. Number three. This one, there's not much to say. You're not a lizard. Why do people keep nodding? Ah, because have you done it? Are you going to go there? Did she call? Speak. That's why God gave you a mouth. Now, if you're handicapped, say you're dumb, you're not able to speak. They learn sign language. They have their ways of communicating. In the event that you are not handicapped, speak, open your mouth. You are not a lizard. Number four, very simple, barging into conversation. You know, ah, why are you barging into a conversation? Why? I'm talking to somebody. Ah, uh, yeah, me how now? Yeah, I'm good. No, yeah. So I was speaking to the guy yesterday, and because uh, he, hi, what's up? Where are you coming from? And why do you run into our conversation like it's no? If I'm talking to someone and it's really, really urgent, be like, oh, hey, Ngozi, I'm so sorry, you guys. Can I, one second, because it's really urgent. I'll be like, yeah. But the person is not insignificant. If I'm talking to someone else and you want to get my attention or that person's attention, take permission. Guys, can I have a second of your time? Don't just walk in there. Hey, NG, that thing I was telling you before. If you're my boss, maybe. And then when you go, I'll be like, see his head. Number five, Nigerians are familiar spirits. The other day I heard the word farmzing for the first time. And they're like, oh, she's farmzing, which means you are feeling familiar with the person. But a colleague of mine, and he is just the most witty person you've ever met. He has conversation for everything. He calls it limpe. He's from Benue State, so maybe limpe means something in Benue State. But don't limpe into somebody's conversation. I'm talking to someone. So we're having a conversation. We do not ask you, we do not talk to you. Then you from your overseas, we just jump, sham, into the, hey, yes, exactly. Like that time when I was in London. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. And people that limp, they know something about everything. They don't mind their business. Everything you're talking about, they have an opinion. Don't limp into people's conversations. If I'm talking to you, if you're close to us, then that's different. Maybe, 
you know, we talk a lot, we sit together in the office. So when we're talking, you contribute. But don't from your far away, two desks away, just jump into my conversation. No, don't do it. Number six, I call this the walk by eyes. I'm working on my laptop. And then next thing, you just walk by and just look. Ah, Ngozi, are you buying, it? are you traveling? Why? Oh, you're buying tickets? Yes, I am. Why are you here and looking at my laptop? What's your business with my laptop? Or you're working? Ah, now you're playing solitaire. Yes. Ah, you're always playing game. Why is this your business? Now, wow, she's always buying shoes. Face, face your work. Face your work. Number seven, and this one is actually quite, it's, it's so unfair that I don't know why people don't get it. You go into the bathroom, you use the bathroom, and you wash your hands, and your hands are wet because you didn't dry them. And then you come out. Ah, it's a long time. And then you, you shake me with wet hands. Personally, if your hands are wet, I won't shake you. No offense. Because, and I, that one is actually quite sad because, to be honest, if you don't wash your hands, it's actually worse. So your hands are not wet. <laughs> but when your hands are wet, it just connotes too many things. And I don't know where your hands are. Just, if your hands are wet when you come out from the bathroom, don't offer to shake me. Yeah, I think it's only fair. Yeah, okay, great. Number eight. Ah. Anytime I think about this, it makes me laugh. Talking with food in your mouth. Angie, ah, my dear. Oh, you know, even when that guy was there, but you're not telling me that. Are you a blender or a food processor? Do you, it is so obscene to see your saliva mixed with the beans, the plantain, and the chicken. Why? It's so awful that I cannot understand why people cannot tell that opening their mouth and talking to other people while there's food in their mouth is not nice to see. Do you know what I think it is? And I'll use the word tantamount because this calls for tantamount. It's tantamount to me seeing your poop in the toilet. Yeah, why not? Don't talk with food in your mouth. If you're sitting with people and you're having lunch, you're eating, and you, need, you feel the need to talk, cover your mouth. Yeah, I know. So, you know, I was talking to the guy yesterday, or better still, I call it WCSS. Wait. Chew, swallow, and then speak. We'll wait for you. Ah, um, um, Yemi, so, but did you already speak to the guy yesterday? Yeah, yeah, I saw him when, it's fine. I will wait. Don't, yeah, yeah, why I'm sorry, the guy, I, we, not even, that information was not even not relevant. Stop. Yeah? Fantastic. Number nine. I've said it before. But I think I need to say it again. Mind your business. Don't do amebo. In the sense of, do not give me unsolicited advice. I've talked about this thing before. And a friend of mine, I was talking to her recently, and um, she's pregnant, and she said somebody saw her. And um, she has three kids. Oh, well, she has two, and she's pregnant for the third one. And somebody saw her and said, ah, again? No. No. Yes, she's pregnant. She and her husband are going to have another kid. Are you serious? Again? Don't do it. Or, or the other day somebody saw me and said, Ah, now wow, Angie. Ah, see, what did you do? To what? What is what did you do? Is it my outfit? My hair? Apparently what she was talking about was my dark lips. Ah, what did you do? I was like, to what? Ah, your lips now. In what sense? Ngozi, yes. You know now, no, I actually don't. <laughs> Since you're going to be an army of flipping the world, tell me what you mean. Ah, this dark leaf self, now wow. Yeah, now wow. All right, bye. Mind your business. If you see someone who has put on weight or is not married yet and she's an older lady or they've had one child, they haven't had more, or they have no kids. Mind your damn beeswax. Ah, now, wow. Ah, you guys, five years, no kids. <laughs> Just chilling. And finally, number 10. I don't know if this falls under etiquette, but it's, it's, it's an Nigerian thing, so I have to do it. You're trying to reach me. 
So you've called me four, five, six times. Now, I did not pick the phone either because I'm in a meeting, my phone is not with me, I'm busy, or I just don't want to talk to you. Don't call me five times and then use another number to call me. What, what are you, you want to catch me? What, no, what, what does that even mean? And I'll pick the phone. Hello? Ah, because in a while I've been calling you with my line, you didn't pick. Yeah, I, I didn't. Anyway, ah, now that I have you, yeah, let me just call you back. What is the purpose of using another phone to call me? So now that you have, you have now caught me, hey, you weren't taking my calls. Yes, I wasn't. And if the reason you were trying to reach me was that urgent, you might have sent me an SMS, but you didn't. You took another number and called me because she's not taking my call. I will call her with another number. No, it's my phone. You're not catching anybody. It's rude. I'll not use another number to call her. I'll not catch her. Stop doing that. If I don't pick the phone, send me an SMS. If I don't want to talk to you, then maybe there's something wrong with me. But don't use another number to call me. If I owe you money, that's a different case. Yeah? Great. Fantastic. I need to add one for the road. I know I said top 10, but I have one more I need to add for the road. Because it's very important to me. Ladies that chew gum, please don't clack. Don't, don't, why are you clacking? Is it entertainment? Is it sound? Is it exercise? Why, why do people... You, and, and you know the interesting part is that you have to... Your mouth has to shape a certain way for you to make that noise. And you look like a herbivore, like a goat. Like, like yeah, that's what you look like. So, ladies, when you chew gum, please don't clickety-clack in your mouth. Yeah? Fantastic. Hopefully, I don't need to do another episode of Etiquette. In the event that more of them come up, I will most certainly do another episode. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any opinions, please share them with me as always. And if you have anything you want me to talk about, then send it to the email address on the screen. And I will take a look at it and we'll decide if you want to talk about it. Until next time, please keep it very real. And thank you for watching. Bye.